Welcome to Internafi. Nobody chooses to be envious. We don't purposely look for reasons to wish we had things that we don't. That is our natural state. These things find us. The reason to stop falling victim to envy is that it hurts. It is a misinterpretation of a situation that makes us feel bad. The misinterpretation is both about the people that we envy and about ourselves. If we envy another person, we imagine that they have something that makes them better than us. It could be wealth, fame, respect, beauty, courage, intelligence, wisdom, height, weight, freckles, no freckles, anything at all. There is no end to things we imagine might make us a better person or bring us happiness. The other side of that envy is that when we see something we want, we imagine that we are lacking. That is the side that hurts. To work with our envy, we have to remember that our only way to satisfy envy is to be happy with what we have. Envy is not as much about not having as not appreciating what we are. No matter how much we accumulate, no matter how perfect we appear, until we are happy with ourselves, we will be susceptible to envy. To be happy with ourselves, we have to recognize that as we are, we are good enough. Good enough does not mean we don't work on becoming intentionally different. Learn new ways to interact with the world and with our minds. Good enough means that no matter where we want to go, we have to start where we are. Contentment is not a destination, it is a way to travel. When you learn to see envy as a symptom of habitually overlooking your own innate value, you can work productively with the feeling. Take a deep breath, feel the sting of envy, and remember that you are on the right path. Beginning again where you are. When you notice envy arising, make a special effort to practice kindness and compassion for yourself and others. Then help others if you notice that they envy you. I hope this helped. Thank you for watching and hope you all see you in there.